The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't watched the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, queries are constructed in the Query tool in order to retrieve quotations based on the quotations being coded to more than one code. And smart codes are saved queries. The important thing about a smart code is that it consists of the query itself, not the resulting list of coded quotations, and so it is dynamic, whereas a smart code snapshot is used to freeze a set of coded quotations that were retrieved by a smart code at a particular moment. We'll postpone discussing the common actions until a later video, and here focus on the specific actions, linking smart codes to other components, but not to additional quotations, and noting that smart code snapshots can be linked to other quotations because they are just like regular codes. And finally, interrogating smart codes. Smart codes are saved queries. So first we have to start with queries. Queries are combinations of codes connected with operators. An operator is something that connects what are called operands. So if you have two operands, like the numbers 2 and 3, and you connect them with an operator, like plus, then the result is 5. In Atlas TI, the operands are codes, and the operators are provided by Atlas TI to connect the codes, and the result is a list of coded quotations that meets the coding criteria of the query. Here is the authentic learning activity study I've mentioned in previous videos. Here is a code, in the background, used whenever students describe the professor's style of not interfering in the student's conduct of their work assignment with the client. Later, I added two tagging codes, learning enhanced and learning inhibited, to capture whenever students felt the professor's management style was enhancing or inhibiting their learning. Later I discovered this coding scheme was useful, and I was able to name a new concept, insufficient instruction, for all examples of whenever I coded something to in the background and also learning inhibited, and to name a concept non-interfering support whenever I had coded something to in the background and also to learning enhanced. These two new codes are actually smart codes that were constructed out of the other codes. Let's go to the first one and go to the smart code editor. Here is the query that I had constructed earlier, consisting of the code in the background and the code learning inhibited, which I had connected with the operator AND, which means get me all quotations coded to both in the background and also learning inhibited. And here are the results. Now let's go on to construct a new query. I'll close this smart code editing window and open the regular query tool, which is an analyze query tool. Constructing a query graphically is very simple and very intuitive, but first you have to understand what the operators do. Here are the 14 operators that I first showed you in the video on coded quotations, where I described in more detail the four most commonly used operators, or, and, not, and co-occur. Here's a review of all the operators, and then you can experiment with them to see which ones may be most useful to you. This group, Atlas TI calls the set operators, which includes or, and, and not, but it also includes a more specialized operator, which Atlas TI calls one of. So you can see that the OR operator indicates that this retrieves all quotations coded to one code or another code, or that are coded to both codes. The one of operator is much more specific. It gets you all quotations coded to one code or coded to the other code, but not coded to both codes you'd have to have a pretty sophisticated coding scheme to want to take advantage of that operator. The second group of operators retrieve coded quotations up and down hierarchies of codes that you have linked together. Here is a code called Management Style. This is a header code, which I've linked to various detail codes in a network. As you can see, Management Style itself does not have any quotations directly linked, but the currently three more detailed codes do, and they are in total 5, 10, and 5, so 20 quotations in all. At some point, I might decide I want to extract and read all the data that I've associated with management style, regardless of these divisions. 
So the query tool allows me to retrieve this set of quotations using the up and down hierarchy operators. If I double click on management style, this begins the query. I can click on the down operator to create a query. And now I retrieve all the quotations for all the codes that are linked up towards the code management style. And as we can see, they are the 20 we are expecting. The third group of operators retrieve coded quotations based on the position in the data of the two quotations, the one coded to one code and the other coded to another code. These operators come in pairs. As you can see, the first pair are called within and encloses, and they allow you to retrieve either the quotation coded to one code that is embedded within a quotation coded to another code, or a quotation coded to one code that encloses a quotation coded to another code. These two are similar, but rather than dealing with enclosing and embedding, it deals with quotations that overlap one another. And these two retrieve quotations based on their closeness in the data. To illustrate these, I'll show them to you in a text. This quotation is embedded within this one. So you can ask for all quotations coded to code A that are embedded within quotations coded to code B, or all quotations coded to code B that enclose quotations coded to code A. And the second set, all quotations coded to code C that overlap quotations coded to code D. And finally, all quotations coded to code E that follow quotations coded to code F by a certain distance. If we return to the query tool, we can now see that the final operator is co-occur, which is a combination of within, encloses, overlaps, and overlapped by. In other words, two quotations coded to two different codes overlapping by any amount. And also the AND operator, in which the overlap is complete because it's a single quotation coded to the two codes. So COACA is a combination of all those five operators. And we saw in the video on coded quotations how the co-occurrence table allows you to explore whole sets of co-occurrences without having to construct each pair of quotations in a separate query. This completes part one, which showed that smart codes are saved queries and how the query tool works with its 14 operators. Please watch part two for how to construct a query and then save it as a smart code and a smart code snapshot and for the remaining actions specific to smart codes.